defensive battery, it's probably going to have ships around it. And we have some friends.
worried that I was going to have to stop and level some things up with some better weapons and so on, but it looks like this ship is punching very nicely through.
all up to you now. Moving. <laughs> so I get to dock alone at the key. Good luck. Yeah. Okay, so I think I have all of my weapons. Got the revenant. Thousand plus rounds. Not quite my highest DPS, but it do. have to figure out which doors I can open. So it looks like they are... Ah. I need to pay attention to my quest markers. So let me... This is going to be... Guys are the inner ring. Thank you. 
Okay, so we open the door. Coming through the depot! Then let's light them up!
talk about something else. How did the Crimson Scar become the Crimson Fleet? After I busted out of the lock, I decided to take things to the next level. I had the keys. You see ships in there a couple times. Ex-cons at my side. But I needed more. So I sent out the call. Once word got around, it didn't take long for freelance pirates from every corner of the settled systems to show up. And this is how the Crimson Fleet was born. Exactly. The key became our base of operations. We spent months reinforcing our position there, making it nearly impossible to approach. What was the UC's response to the situation? First of all, UC security gave up and handed the reins over to the big guns, the UC Navy. The Navy, in turn, sent ships to attack the key. I'd say there have been three major attacks over the last few years. And as you can tell by the fact we're having this interview, all the attacks were embarrassing failures. Do you feel these embarrassing failures led them to form UC systems? <laughs> Absolutely. They've clearly given up and decided to shove the responsibility onto a separate division. That way, in the public eye, the UC Navy can move forward proud and strong, while UC SysDef continually takes all the blame. It's all about PR spin for them, Gail. That's how the UC operates. Kinda disgusting, don't you think? Hmm. Sounds a bit like you're trying to deflect attention off the atrocities the Crimson Fleet commits on a daily basis. Atrocities, huh? How about fighting the Freestar Collective over a bunch of rocks hanging in space? How about thousands of people dying while a bunch of pencil-pushing bastards sit in a cushy office and draw lines on a star map? Maybe the United Colonies should stop the bullshit and take a hard look in the mirror to see who the monsters really are! did this to me. I can decrypt and re-encode thousands of credits in seconds, but something as simple as this, I didn't see it coming. Not in the slightest. And now because of you, my bomb's been activated. Which means I'm as good as dead. Now that Sistef is here, the Crimson Fleet can't afford to have everything I know fall into the wrong hands. The moment the Vigilance arrived, Delgado pushed the button, which is as good as putting a gun to my head and pulling the trigger. Forgive me if I don't take you at your word, since you've been lying to me from the very beginning. I've paid you well, treated you with respect, and kept trouble off your back more than a few times. Look me in the eye, and tell me why you've allowed this to happen to me. You owe me that much. At this point, I can't blame Delgado for activating the bomb. If I was in his place, I'd do the same thing, without hesitation. Well, now that you're here... I don't expect that you'll stay and watch my rather spectacular ending. So why don't you just get out of my sight and let me die in peace? After everything I just said, you'd still be willing to help me. I must be a complete fool. Because even though it makes no sense, I believe you. The only way to deactivate the bomb is through Delgado's computer and operations. You'll probably need his ID to get in. I don't know why you're helping me. 
but I sincerely hope this isn't another one of your tricks. Okay, so... Optional. Using even normally. Okay. 